During the summer of 2005, the idea was born to hold a Cayley to raise funds to support the work of staff at Edinburgh's Western General Hospital who were treating and caring for breast cancer patients. Margaret had been receiving treatment there since being diagnosed in 2004. Her sister Marion had been receiving treatment over a number of years at St John's Hospital in Livingston and the complementary therapies on offer there would also be supported. In January 2006, the first Cayley took place at Falkirk Town Hall with Skerry Board providing the music, fundraisers throughout the evening and with the added attraction of a fish supper provided for all at a break in proceedings. The first Mag's Fish Supper Cayley was born. Across the nine Cayleys since that first one, over £100,000 has been raised. Here's how the money's been spent at St John's and at the Western General. My name's Fran Blythe and I am one of the complementary therapists that works at St John's. Um, we're very lucky to work at St John's um, and we're not funded by the NHS. So, you know, funding is so important to us. If we didn't have funds coming in, we wouldn't have a service. So uh, I work for the breast care nurses and feel that it's so important to support people in an emotional way during and after their treatments and the money is put to good use. And then what happens is they get an opportunity to have four sessions, which actually seems mm -hmm. like a lot, but for me, I would probably prefer a wee bit more, but you know, it's not an ideal world. But it's like that session is used to move them forward and whatever it is they need, we work together to give them tools to help with anxiety. Some people don't have problems sleeping after treatments and also just to boost their confidence and actually say, you know, life and in some ways can be better than it was before. And that sounds a bit strange to say that. I think, oh, got a problem here. But that's when Fran had said, look, you get an emotional problem. So she offered to have a few sessions. So we did, and it is so beneficial to me. I'd like to say, if, if it wasn't for, for money coming in from wonderful people like yourself, we wouldn't have a service. And my dream would be for this service to just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so I can't thank you enough for giving us a donation towards the base care charities. Hi everybody, my name's Vivian, I'm a research nurse here at the Western General Hospital. I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody at the Cayley, the ones who organise it and everybody who attends. So there are times when our own consultants want to do some groundbreaking research and sometimes the funding just isn't there and we maybe need to train our staff for specifics, um, some specific equipment that we might need. So it's things like that that actually the money is generated by yourselves and it enables us to do research. Right, well you wanted to hear about the Margaret Lee Fund um, and what we'll be doing with it and how it's a an institution uh, as I'm sure your Achilles are over, over there. And then uh, you've heard about the works being done at St John's with some of the money, um, but over here maybe more towards the, the research end of things we've been applying most of the money to train and research nurses. At the moment we've got I think 10 or 12 studies open breast cancer here and a number of studies in rarer cancers which the market B fund has also been supporting and I think maybe that's a nice thing to know as well. It would be yeah. nice just to sort of say something about Margaret as well, yeah. you know, the fact that you know she was just a fab person to have on her studies kind of thing, you know, and I remember Margaret coming to us when she was first diagnosed and she came onto one of her studies that Larry was running and she was just a breath of fresh air, she was just great to have. And then laterally she was with us in one of the last studies and I think the family remembered it as well because she was the first patient, we were a centre across the world, so we were all open and ready to go and we weren't looking for massive numbers of patients but um, Margaret was the first patient to go on study across the world and everybody was as excited as each other, do you know, and it was just lovely. But it was a pleasure to look after her it and was, um, she was just a joy. 
um, but we love what we're doing we love our work and um, it's an exciting time but we can't do it without people like you yeah. so thank you we do that we need specialised training for our staff and some of these studies that we do we don't have the funding to enable us to actually do all of that so it's just really nice to have a specialised fund that we can look at that and it's, it's so specific to future developments of research you know, and we are making huge headways in breast cancer research and sarcoma and our rare cancers as well and it's fantastic to be quite a small centre, if you think of it, in the, across the UK. But um, we can stand our ground and punch our weight in Edinburgh, you know, but it's thanks to people who really get behind us and support us. So we just want to say thank you for the yeah. fantastic support yeah. you've given us for 10 years. Please don't stop. Yeah. Dig deep. <laughs> <laughs> Vivian can certainly punch your weight. <laughs>